In Image 33, HCM takes up the Fluid Delegations Framework, enabling you to authorize someone else to act in your place when approving or initiating transactions. New delegation enhancements allow you to select multiple delegates and transactions in a single delegation request. Administrators can set up delegation transactions to allow cascading of delegations and notifying delegators of pending approvals. Fluid delegations can also be used in a clustered environment so that delegations for all databases can be viewed at once. HCM delivers the delegations tile and dashboard to support fluid delegations. The dashboard includes three additional tiles for creating and managing delegation activities in a central location. Use the Create Delegation Request tile to add new delegation requests. Delegations can be open-ended, as in the case where a person leaves and a replacement is not yet in place. Select one or more delegates for the request. Administrators can specify in the setup which hierarchy to use to populate this list, whether or not to include contingent workers and persons of interest, and whether or not to allow anyone to be added manually as delegates. Select one or more transactions to be delegated. You can filter the list by the Approve and Initiate transaction types. Only the transactions that you have access to are available for selection. If a role is defined for a transaction, the delegate will be granted temporary access for the duration of the delegation. When the transaction does not have a role defined, only transactions that both the delegator and the delegates have in common are shown. Review the request information and submit if it is correct. Use the My Delegates tile to view the delegation requests that you've created. The system sorts them by status. The request you just submitted appears under the Active tab. You can revoke it if it is no longer needed. Use the My Delegated Authorities tile to view the transactions that have been delegated to you, also sorted by status. By default, the system shows the submitted requests that need your attention. Select to accept or reject delegations. Fluid Delegations introduce new setup options in delegation transactions. For any transaction, the administrator has the option to allow cascade delegation down to levels, which gives delegates the ability to reassign transactions previously delegated to them to someone else. Administrators can also select to route approvals to delegators so that they are aware of the progress of the transactions. HCM delivers fluid delegation functionality in applications listed here. This completes our demonstration of the Fluid Delegation Uptake feature. PeopleSoft Payroll for North America delivers an integration process that allows you to load data from specific PeopleSoft or third-party applications directly onto PaySheet tables. Being able to process load data for inactive employees is a top-rated enhancement request on IdeaSpaces. In Image 33, we deliver a configurable framework for defining your own rules, enabling you to set allowable statuses, sources, populations, earnings, and deduction details for making special payments to inactive employees. Define a PaySheet update program definition for your entire organization or set up multiple programs for various company and pay group combinations. Your PaySheet update program is effective dated, allowing you to edit and maintain the configuration over time. You may have some specific inactive statuses that are not eligible for payment. Define the employee statuses eligible for payment transactions on the employee status page. Select specific PaySheet sources to allow payments to inactive employees, or select the All PaySheet Update Sources checkbox to allow updates from any PaySheet update source. Note that selecting the All PaySheet Update Sources checkbox will gray out the grid. Your inactive employees may not be eligible for all of the earnings that were available in the Earnings Program. On the Earnings tab, select Specific Earning Codes or select the All Earnings checkbox to allow any earning to be loaded to the PaySheet for the inactive employee. Similarly, you can define specific deductions that can be loaded for inactive employees 
or allow any deduction to load on the Deductions tab. Note that selecting All Earnings or All Deductions will gray out the associated grids on the Definition page. On the Company Pay Group tab, define a paysheet load program for specific company and pay group combinations or define one program for your entire business. Administrators can review and optionally update transactions before loading them into paysheets. We provide new search fields for you to look up transaction data for review. We also provide a new capability that allows you to update the transaction status for multiple records at once. This completes our demonstration of the Paysheet Load Enhancements. PeopleSoft enhances the Page and Field Configurator to configure data masking of component fields and search fields. You can now create a masking configuration and add the required fields to the configuration. PeopleSoft delivers four types of mask profiles that you can use to set the format of the masked fields depending on your business requirements. This example shows a masked date of birth field in personal data. This completes the data masking related changes for PFC feature description. Employee Directory Assistant is the new chatbot offering in PeopleSoft HCM, designed to help your employees look up people in your organization and quickly find their contact and job profile information. With this chatbot, your employees can use short conversational text within the chatbot user interface to search for general profile information, job title, business address, email address, phone number, manager or supervisor, and any direct reports for any employee in your organization. This completes the Company Directory Assistant Chatbot feature description. PeopleSoft Fluid Position Management now enables you to identify primary incumbents for your positions. You can direct transactions, performance documents, and approval requests to the correct person, and avoid inconsistencies in routing approvals when there are multiple incumbents in a manager position. Use the Manage Primary Incumbents page to see a list of current incumbents for a position and indicate if a person should serve as the primary incumbent and when. There's also an option to view future incumbents for this position, if any, and you can even assign them as a primary incumbent for a future date. There can be only one current primary incumbent for a position at a time, indicated by the crown icon next to a person's name. The start date determines when the next person becomes the primary incumbent. Additionally, when you make job data updates that result in a person moving in or out of a position, or when you make changes to a person's HR or payroll status, the system auto-updates the primary incumbent information. From this page, you can also view the history of primary incumbent changes for a position. This completes the Position Management Manage Primary Incumbent feature description. The Benefits Summary page for a Benefits Administrator now mirrors the Employee Self-Service page. The Fluid Benefit Summary page has a card and list view of benefits, contains a related content area, and provides a date selector for the administrator to look at past, current, and future benefit summary data of employees. This page also features a separate tab for a complete list of all the latest payroll deductions for the employee. Note that the Deduction tab is available only for customers using Payroll for North America or Payroll Interface. This completes the Modernized Fluid Benefits Summary for Administrators feature description. PeopleSoft HCM Update Image 33 enhances Candidate Gateway by introducing a new, configurable page known as Employment Questionnaire. This new feature allows you to include a step in the candidate's application process to respond to important job preferences and options that may be important in determining if a candidate is a good fit for your job opening. 
You can now configure both employment and skills questions to be required and can also intermix the type of questions. You're no longer required to show open-ended questions only at the end. This feature also includes a number of important enhancements for screening. Note that you may still use the existing Preferences page, this new Configurable Employment Questionnaire page, or both as part of your candidate application experience. This completes the new Employment Questionnaire for Candidate Gateway feature description. In HCM Image 33, the Personalized Recruiting Alerts page provides recruiters four additional filters that can be used to restrict the number of alerts displayed by the selected time frame, which improves page performance when you have complex filter options. The same enhancement is also available to hiring managers when they personalize their recruiting alerts. A new recruiting-specific personalization page is now available on the Global My Preferences page when accessed from home page actions. In addition to the filters, the page also provides hiring managers an option to configure the display of open online job offers. This completes the Recruiting Alerts Improvements feature description. PeopleSoft HCM Update Image 33 enhances the acknowledgement framework with a summary page for administrators to search for and view user acknowledgements. Users can also see the summary of acknowledgements done by them in the past using this acknowledgement summary page. The Acknowledgement Response Details page displays the acknowledgement that the user completed. This completes the Acknowledgement Framework Summary Review Pages feature description. New employees can now easily access and view their business partner contact information from the onboarding dashboard using the new business partner's tile. The tile displays a count of the employee's viewable business partners. By clicking the tile, the employee can use the information on the business partner's page to contact his or her representatives. This completes the business partner viewable in PeopleSoft onboarding feature description. Managers can now view participant comments in documents when they're in the step to define criteria or track employees' mid-period progress in the evaluation process. Select the options in the template definition to enable the viewing of participant feedback in the Define Criteria step and Track Progress step, and managers can see the participant feedback submitted for the documents in the corresponding steps. This completes the viewing of participant feedback in multiple steps feature description. PeopleSoft HCM Update Image 33 provides the ability to process payees who are on a leave of absence. You can define payroll selection criteria specifying the payroll statuses to be active and eligible for absence in payroll processing. Link the payee selection criteria to a pay group. The system uses this criteria to determine the active payees in that pay group to be processed. This completes the Processing Payees on Leave of Absence feature description. PeopleSoft Global Payroll now includes messages on printed payslips, allowing employees to access payslip messages from their mobile devices. You can view any messages associated with the payslip. For example, a year-end message to the staff, or a message for allowance payment during the month of a holiday, or a standard message about when the salary payment is made to the employee's bank account. This completes the Mobile Payslip Messages feature description. With Update Image 33, payroll administrators can create automated calendar groups by mapping calendar IDs for different frequencies. 
for example, weekly, biweekly, or monthly. Users have the flexibility to create multiple calendar groups based on the selected calendar pattern. They can also automate the creation of periods and calendars to be used in the calendar group. This completes the automated calendar group creation feature description. PeopleSoft HCM Image 33 offers the flexibility for payroll administrators to customize the naming conventions for period IDs by linking suffix along with auto sequence numbers. You can also customize naming conventions for calendar IDs by linking suffix. This completes the flexible suffix for automated calendar and period IDs feature description. With Update Image 33, you can run the Single Touch Payroll or STP process by using Period End Date. You can also process STP by selecting a period ID associated with the period end date. You can now generate a single pay event file by selecting the period end date. Payees who are reported will be reported only once with the latest year to date value. This completes the running STP processes, either based on period end date or calendar run IDs, feature description. We've only shown you the highlights of the features in this PeopleSoft update image. For more information about these features and the other enhancements, see the CFO tool, the update image overview on my Oracle support, and go to the PeopleSoft information portal for updates.